welcome to or welcome back to the Coral Corner. Today's episode is going to be a little different. We are not going to be talking about any fish or marine mammal. Today, we are going to be talking about plastic and how it affects marine life. Just a disclaimer, this video will contain photos that some may find upsetting or disturbing. If that may be you, please click off of this video. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Fun fact. There are about 35 million ocean conservation companies worldwide. Those include companies like 4Ocean and BioStraw. While BioStraw does not directly remove trash from the ocean, they do help reduce the amount of trash that goes into the ocean. 4Ocean is a company that sells bracelets made directly out of plastic and trash they get from the ocean. Once you buy one of their bracelets, they will remove one pound of trash from the ocean. First, let's talk about plastic. Plastic is man-made, which means it was not formed naturally. Plastic was made because it is durable, convenient, easy, washable, and disposable. It started in 1907, but it really pushed off in World War II. Each American produces about 4.5 pounds of trash every day. That is roughly about 1,642.5 pounds of trash a year. 4.5 pounds is about the same weight as a two liter bottle of soda. Did you know that 60 to 80% of marine debris come from land? I think that means we need to be more cautious about what we throw away. I am pretty sure most of us have seen that very upsetting video of a sea turtle with a straw embedded in its nose and very nice people getting it out. Well, that is just the beginning and some animals don't even survive that. Research shows that plastic has been found in 60% of all seabird species and 100% of all sea turtle species. This mainly happens because these animals mistake plastic for food. For example, leatherback turtles feed mainly on jellyfish. And like I said in my last video on jellyfish, jellyfish have a bag-like body. Sometimes turtles can mistake plastic grocery bags like these Sometimes they can mistake those for jellyfish just floating around. A simple around. solution of plastic grocery bags is using these reusable, reusable grocery bags. You can usually get them at the store when you check out. After sea turtles ingest things like plastic grocery bags, things like nutrient uptake and feeding efficiency can occur. If green sea turtles keep on dying from things like plastic in the ocean, the entire marine ecosystem will just go out of balance. All of the species who depend on healthy seagrass beds to live will go extinct following them. One thing that I use to cut down plastic waste in the ocean is a metal straw, a collapsible metal straw. It comes in this little tube. All you really have to do is unscrew the lid, pull this off, pull this out, Pull out the squeegee, because you don't want to drink a squeegee. And then, pull it. And then you have a straw to drink out from. And then once you're done, you just close it back up, push it together, push the squeegee through, put it back in the tube, close it back up, and clip it to whatever it is. These are really simple to have, because all you have to do is clip it to like a purse, a book bag. You could even have it in your pocket. These are like, for a pack of two, these are like $15 on Amazon. Fun fact, the shoe brand Adidas is pitching in on saving the ocean. They made a shoe out of recycled plastic and it is called the Parley Collection. Well, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, to suggest what we talk about in the next video, you can also put that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.